Hello everyone, this is Cyborg Banks. Welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Justice for All. <laughs> that was weird, alright. Uh, anyway, hi guys, how you doing? Uh, in the last episode, I don't remember. What are we doing? <sighs> Investigating. That's all I know. <laughs> anyway, so we are in case three of the game, and we are about to go to trial? Or were we in the middle of trial? Actually, no, we were in the middle of trial. That's right. We were uh, questioning stupid Trillo. <laughs> Trillo and Ben. Um, so this episode will be very special because... I'm going to be doing the wrong voices! Woo! I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> Wish me luck. Let's go. I'm kind of disappointed because there's a character that I specifically wanted to do a wrong voice for, but they're not in this part, and they're not going to be back at all for the rest of this case, so <sighs> I'm out of luck. <laughs> all right, anyway, let's continue with the trial. Yeah, we went to uh, recess. Okay. Get ready, guys. Get ready! December 29th, 11.54 a.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Numero Cinco. <laughs> Sweetie! Yeah, the voices are going to be really weird. Just warning you already. <laughs> you have to believe me. I didn't go anywhere near that crime scene. So then, where were you when the murder took place? We talked about it yesterday, remember? I was in the ringmaster's room. And while you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? Exactly! He told me to wait in the room because he would be right back. That's when the ringmaster headed to the scene of the crime, right? That's what it seems like. But... The ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? Oh, sweetie! I just remembered! I went straight to the ringmaster's room still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took the costume off. Which means... It means that the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like Max. Fabulous! That's a fabulously possible possibility! I almost slipped into his actual voice there. <laughs> it's gonna be so awkward. I'm gonna start forgetting. Watch. Oh boy. <laughs> well done, Nick. However, sweetie, why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Huh. If you think about it, all they found at the crime scene was my silk hat. What about my cloak? Where did that go? Double, hmm. Wow, Max, I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. Well, I never quite... I was never quite sure what to be when I grew up. Magician or president? Well, the state of... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna... <laughs> Uh, let's not get into politics. <clears throat> you have no idea how hard it was to make a decision. That's really cool. Fabulous. This mystery just keeps getting deeper. Imagine Phoenix with, like, a nerd glasses. You know, the kind with the black thick rims with the, the white tape in the middle. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing. It's pain! Phoenix Pain! <laughs> yes! This episode is going to be called Phoenix Pain. Yes. Alright, remember that, future Binks. Okay, we're in the courtroom. Oh dear. Oh, Francisca's going to kill me for the voice I'm going to do for her. <laughs> <clears throat> now that everyone is back, let's get started. The court is now back in session, and yes, I'm a sexy judge. <laughs> I'm just, oh, oh, you won't believe the stuff I'm imagining while I'm doing these voices. <laughs> okay. 
Under those robes, he's wearing lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Miss Von Karma, please proceed with the prosecution's case. Very well. I will now call my next witness. Uh, Von Karma, have you been smoking? <laughs> you sound like you have, like, freaking uh, lung cancer or something, which is not funny, but you sound awful. A pitiful clown with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing. Yeah, no accent, sorry. I can't do both. <laughs> Will Mr. Lawrence Carls please take the stand? Why did she just call him a pitiful clown? Oh no. The witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. Uh, I still don't, I'm always struggling just to do your regular voice. What voice am I going to do you for you? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Mo, what's up with you? Seriously? Oh, going too fast. <laughs> Name and occupation. Will the witness please inform the court why he is speaking autobiographical gibberish? Oh, jeez, I still haven't decided. I don't know why it was so easy for everybody else, but it's so hard for Mo. Uh, hmm. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, giving you an accent because I'm weird. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm just not used to being in court. I've never been in courtroom in my life. I wasn't quite sure what joke is best suited to this sort of occasion. What in the world are you talking about? You're in a grand hall of justice, not some comedy club. Since it's easy to see your occupation, please state your name for the court. Oh, yeah, maybe this joke is okay. Mom, do I have to wear pants? The sign only says no shirt, no shoes, no service. Oh, dear Lord, no. <laughs> dear Lord. <laughs> oh no. Um, I almost feel like putting in the usual laugh. <laughs> I don't know. If you're going to be doing this a lot, I'm just going to put the laugh in, even if it's correct. <laughs> oh, nobody's laughing. <laughs> okay, okay. How about this? Have you met my proctologist, Dr. Seymour Butts? How was that one? <laughs> oh, dear lord. But a couple of clowns, they were up to no good. Oh, no. Your name? Lawrence Coles, professional funny man, also known as Mo the Clown. You witnessed the scene at around 10.15 p.m. the day of the murder. Correct? Yes, yes it is. Very well, Mr. Curls. Will you please testify to what you saw that evening? A rabbi, a priest, and a Rastafarian walked... Okay. Without the humor, please. Okay. Aw, poor Mo can't be his normal stoogy self in court. Oh, dear Lord. Why am I doing this? <laughs> I'm crazy. What did Mo witness? I know, I know, I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. I haven't been able to make people laugh for ten years. No matter what I say, all I get in return is a vacant stare and polite applause. Since no one ever laughs at my jokes, I've taken to laughing at them myself. It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. Imagine my predicament. I'm a clown who can't make people laugh. I'm almost useless. Jeez, Mo, you were supposed to testify. But I keep trying. I even try to come up with jokes just for today. But this atmosphere is very nerve-wracking. I decided to try making everyone laugh. Seriously, everyone, what do you think of me? How am I doing? Terribly. You're not testifying. <laughs> Jesus. Really. Um... Aren't we the ones supposed to be asking the questions here? Witness! Huh? We will listen.
listen to your call for help after the court proceedings are over. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yes, that really was a call for help, wasn't it? Oh, jeez. I'm going to need help if I have to keep doing Von Karma's voice like this. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Thus, please stick with the facts of this case. Okay, Batman Von Karma. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what am I doing this whole episode? I hope you guys are enjoying this, because if you are, I'm going to do it again in the future. But maybe with different voices so I don't kill myself like this. Uh. Really? You'll really hear me out? Oh, dear. Well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. Thank you, thank you. I can't wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, how did he know? How did he know that she was talking about gumshoe? <laughs> anyway. Poor gumshoe. Yep. Now that that's settled, shall we begin once again with the testimony? Of course we can. I'll talk for as long as you want. No, please don't talk that much. Please. Sir. <laughs> the night of the murder, after practice was over, I went straight back to my room. You have no idea how tired I was that night. I was pooped. I mean, not like diarrhea poop, but like pooped. Like fatigue, you know? <laughs> okay, Mo, please stop. <laughs> I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. That's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. It was the ringmaster, and he was with Max, who was wearing his cloak. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clonked the ringmaster over the head. Oh, jeez. Crikey! <laughs> yeah, I, this Australian accent, I suck at it. But I'm trying my best. That's very interesting. If this eyewitness account is to be believed, I have enough to pass judgment right now. Uh-oh. Of course you can. There is no way that this account can be criticized. However... The witness is a bit, how do you say, off-kilter? Almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding him. Oh dear, no, 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 no. No. Oh, that must be because of my insincere smile. Mr. Wright, please begin a defense as cross-examination. Yes, your honor. Nick, you've got to find some kind of contradiction in this testimony. Yeah, that's the same voice that I give uh, <laughs> Trillo. <laughs> <clears throat> I know that. <laughs> Try not to laugh. I'm so sorry. This is just ridiculous. Mr. Wright. Your Honor. I'm afraid that if you push this witness too far, it would bring disaster upon the court. Thus, I sincerely hope you are not going to exchange, engage, not exchange, engage in pointless saber rattling. Saber? Saber rattling? What? I understand, your honor. If you cause this clown to stray from the facts, I'll hold you responsible. Why am I responsible? I'm not the one with the corny jokes. Oh no, we have to limit our pressing. Oh dear lord. Oh dear. I I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me see. The night of the murder. Straight back to my room. No idea how tired I was in it. I was pooped. Glanced at the window. I think it's this one? Please don't penalize me. You just happened to glance out the window? You could say that. You could also say I peeked, stared, glimpsed, peeped, eyeballed. Oh no. Please don't penalize me. Mr. Curls. Oh, I guess synonyms aren't allowed either. What should I do? Oh, wrong voice! I should have said the right voice. <laughs> Forgot for a second. <clears throat> What should I do? I wonder if I should press him further on this issue. 
Mm, I think we need to keep pressing. Uh, country bots, man. I don't know. Exactly why did you look out of your window that night? Why? Why? Clowns don't need a reason to look out the windows, do they? That's not what I meant. I meant that, well, when we spoke yesterday... Okay, tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise, it was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that! <laughs> so did I. You forgot! Damn it! <laughs> Whip. Your Honor, the witness looked out of his window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not just simply glance out of his window that night. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention that thump, didn't I? Oh yeah, 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 crikey! <laughs> that's not something you just forget to mention. Um, yeah, what she said. Oh, what she said. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. I believe it would be best if Mo were to revise his testimony. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Curls, please revise your testimony. They should start turning the tables in our favor. Okay, we did good. Whew. I heard a large, huge noise out the window, and that's what made me take a look outside. Oh dear. Do I need to press that again? You know, Mo's testimony and what he told us yesterday are kind of different. Yeah, I noticed. We just got to pinpoint what's changed. You can do it, Nick. Which I just did. Um, okay, I was just looking through. Let's see, one, two. This is the new one. Three. Four. Five. Okay. Let's press this. Oh man, I'm worried, but... <clears throat> what was the sound like? Well, I guess it kinda sounded like... Hmm. I guess you could say, Mr. Curls, may the court remind you that humor is unnecessary. Don't! Oh, how'd you know that I was going to make a joke? <laughs> Jeez. You're predictable. I guess that the sound sounded like, uh... I suppose it sounded like someone getting hit with something very hard. Yeah, that's what it sounded like, honestly. Someone getting hit, huh? What then? You went to look out the window and you saw... Okay... Hmm... Max is on the cloak... I think this one... You say you saw the ringmaster get clonked over the head? Yes, I did! It's the climax of my story! He really does enjoy the completely random non sequitur. And what would you say the victim was struck with? You mean weapon? I have no idea. A weapon wasn't found at the murder scene, right? No, 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 no. You did say you saw the entire thing, didn't you? Well, I, um... <laughs> yeah, I suppose I did. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't see a weapon. <laughs> Uh, oh dear. Mo, are you lying to us, stupid clown? Mo, did you or did you not see the crime of murder committed that night? Uh-oh. I will not permit you to harass my witness in this manner. He'd better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. Because if you don't, you know what is waiting for you. A nice penalty. Uh-oh. Uh. <laughs> 
wasn't that a bit melodramatic? So what will it be then, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Uh-oh. Do you have any clear basis to believe that my witness did not see the crime? Of course I do. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. But other than the fact that he said he didn't see the weapon... I'm so confused. <laughs> I've got a great reason to make my claim. And I suppose you will be telling us all that great reason. Of course I will. The reason is... The witness's very own testimony! There we go! Looks like I'm okay. <laughs> I was worried, man. What is the meaning of that, Mr. Wright? Mo said that he heard a sound like a thump of someone getting hit. Hmm, he did say that. However, Mo just stated the following under oath. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max honked the ring muster over the head. If Mo is to be believed when he says he looked out the window upon hearing a sound, there is no way that he could have seen Max clonk anyone. Oh, nicely done, Phoenix. In 1972, a crack floor. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what he was describing, but I bet it was funny. <laughs> Sorry. Mr. Curls, how do you respond to Mr. Wright's assessment? Uh, what? Oh, okay, you didn't rush through this one. <laughs> um, they didn't commit. These clowns promptly escaped from a maximum security clown car. Oh, this is the A-team, isn't it? Oh, boy. Yep, C-team. <laughs> Mr. Curls, are you reciting the C-team theme to anger this court? No, no, no. I'm just stalling for time while I chalk my memory. Great job, Nick. These types of witnesses always seem to have a selective memory. You just have to peel back the layers of the clown makeup to find the truth. Well, um... Oh, I'm sure this is totally gonna be interesting. But I actually have to stop this episode right here, guys. <laughs> At least we did some, uh... Yeah, we, we got some stuff accomplished. I'm sorry if the voices were so distracting for you guys, but... I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> I'm like Mo. Poor tragic clown. Nobody laughs at my jokes. Uh. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. My throat is dying, so I'm going to stop for now. <laughs> I can't even record another episode. Um, Next time, I'll be back to my normal voices. I promise. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like or comment or subscribe I really appreciate everyone who does that I really do love you guys until next time have a nice day bye